Hi guys, and welcome to Terminal Velocity. Today I'm going to be analyzing Nintendo's February Direct of this year. The Direct started off with Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. This looks like a very interesting Fire Emblem Warriors game, and it has a lot of similarities in art style and uh, and just aesthetics to Age of Calamity. And it looks like an overall great game. Uh, Three Houses is a really good game. So I, I'm pretty excited for this new Warriors game in that series. And then we got to see some more of Advance Wars Reboot Camp, uh, which looks like a very fun tactical RPG. Uh, very interesting. And they showed off the new level creator mode, which looks really cool. You can kind of make your own courses to fight on. And it looks like a really, really fun tactical RPG. And then we got No Man's Sky, which is awesome. I don't really know how they got it to work on the Switch, but who knows? I mean, they have Doom Eternal on the Switch, so yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Next we have Mario Strikers Battle League. This game looks super interesting, and I might check it out. But in general, it looks really cool, and it has more of a fight fighting game kind of edge to it, but it looks fun. And then we got some more of Splatoon 3, which I'm personally not a big fan of the Splatoon series, but it looks pretty fun. Um, and they showed off the new, a new, a few new modes and new things, and it looks pretty good. Next we got some Front Mission First, which this looks like a really interesting and fun um, tactical RPG. Um, I haven't really, I've never really heard of this before, but it does look cool and I might check it out. And next we have a remade Star Wars game, which looks pretty awesome as well as in a, the Assassin's Creed Ezio trilogy or collection. Um, it looks really cool and it has a combination of a few different Assassin's Creed games, which I'm not personally that much into, but they do look pretty awesome. And the next announcements were SD Gundam Battle Alliance for the Switch, as well as a new Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers collection which is sort of a remake or remaster of the Chrono Cross game, which looks very interesting. I haven't played Chrono Cross, but I have played Chrono Trigger, and it's really good. So who knows? This look, just looks like a very interesting game that I might check out. And then they had Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Uh, it showed off Kirby's new mouthful mode, which basically he could swallow up really big things and kind of become them. It's pretty similar to Mario Odyssey, I think. But um, in general, it, it does look interesting. It's kind of allows, like, they showed off him being a, or Kirby being a car, which who knows, who knows what that will do. Um, it looks It looks like a really interesting game, but I don't know. I'm not a big Kirby fan, so. It does look cool though. Next we have MLB The Show 22, which is cool, as well as a Kingdom Hearts collection. Uh, it has a lot of, of multiple games from the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, this would be cool, except it's on the weird cloud version Switch game thing, which means that you can only play it when it, you're, you have internet. So it's kind of defeats the purpose of having it on the Switch, so I don't really know what to think about that. And next we got Klonoa and Portal on the Switch, which both are very, very uh, awesome and, and are games that people really wanted to be on the Switch. Klonoa is more of a platformer, and Portal and Portal 2 uh, are more of puzzle games. And it looks really, these both look really cool, and... Especially Portal, I'm, I that looks cool on the Switch, and I might check it out. Next, we had Live Live Alive, 
um, which is a very interesting RPG. Um, I don't really know very much about it, but it does give me some Mother 3 vibes, so I don't know. It's interesting. Next we have Nintendo Switch Sports, which looks really, really interesting. It's kind of a sequel to Wii Sports, or Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports Club. Um, and it sort of, um, it has a, a few sports. I am, they, it doesn't seem to have all of the sports that were in the previous game, but it does have a few. Um, in general, it looks really awesome, and I'm, I'm a big fan of the Wii Sports games, and it looks like a really fun game. And next we have this drum game that I'm not going to try to pronounce, um, that has Megalovania and Legend of Zelda theme. So that's pretty awesome. And then we have a personal favorite of mine, Triangle Strategy. Triangle Strategy looks like a really awesome tactical RPG that I'm definitely going to be checking out. And um, it just looks really great. It has good characters. I've, I've tried out the demo, and it's really, really fun. And then there's some new Cuphead DLC as well as a free update from Metroid Dread which adds two new modes which are pretty cool but what I'm more excited about is the Bosch Rush mode that they're adding uh, at a later date which looks really cool I'm a big fan of the bosses in that game and I'll definitely be doing that boss rush mode and then super awesome um, Mother 1 and Mother 2 were Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings um, were added to the NES Online and the SNES Online, which these are two of my favorite games, and it's awesome that more people will have a chance to play them, and I'm very excited about that. Next we have Getsu Fumiden Undying Moon, as well as Lego Brawls, which looks like an interesting game. But more excitingly, after this, they announced new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Booster Course Pass DLC, which sort of adds a lot of new, or not new courses, but old courses that they remade for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, including Coconut Mall, which, yes, Nintendo Coconut Mall does, um, but also there are, a lot of, there are a lot of tracks that look really interesting, and a few that I want to be in there, and so I'll probably check this DLC out. And then we got an announcement of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which I'm not a huge fan of the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, series. They 1 and 2 look cool, but 3, it looked really awesome. Like, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this, even though I'm not a Xenoblade Chronicles fan. Uh, it looks really cool, and I, I'm really excited about it. So what did you think about this Nintendo Direct? I personally would have given it about a B plus if I was going to give it a letter grade. It was it was pretty good. It wasn't the best, but it was still really really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you enjoy some of the games that were on this direct. Again, I'm Terminal Velocity, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.